Hello, this was this is Malod directed against non holding of municipal elections, Malod. In the three so yet to get over <laughs> the problems in the panchayat election, she is the root cause for all that problem. <laughs> <laughs> and still matters are hanging sir now i am adding day, fuel to that Malod, elections no, are, i will be adding fuel to that uh, elections are not being held for more than two and a half years my lord if the last term, not held problem here the health then problem thing can be done now sir my lord last term my lord came to an end my lord in april and 2000 uh, now as many as 11 election petitions have been filed yes. i have assigned that to different judges yes. my lord election commission of india has called for details of the election uh, petitions which are pending in all high courts This itself is yet to yet. It's still fuming. They are mentioning, asking that to be listed, and um, the ch- oh, yes, chief election not. commissioner. My lord, <clears throat> he was uh, summoned. Rule was issued. Contempt is pending. He has filed an affidavit. His dis- presence was dispensed with, subject to uh, further orders. But here, my lord, no, no elections so are being held. State is here. Uh, we cannot do anything under section eight. My lord, state has to consult with us, and I have fixed a date. state is not appearing state is uh, we will uh, direct your representation to malod that will not help because malod panchayat elections we came with a public interest litigation in 2015 malod there was an undertaking given before this honorable court to hold the elections within 3 months malod it was held in 2023 after 1923 years malod no panchayat elections were held for 23 years from 2000, 2000 to 2000 you are not part of any of the litigation Concerning the panchayat election, no, my lord, I'm. Uh, had you citing, been here, citing, had you been here, Malod. you would have definitely sympathized with this, my lord. I'm citing an instance, my lord, because my lord, <laughs> in spite of giving an undertaking, my lord, they're all futile writs, futile writs, my lord. Ele- and you will come forward to the contempt petition. They will say this has happened, that has happened, public unrest, uh, census has to be taken, so many people died. That- my lord, the administrator is running the. Sir, I have been the conditions of the municipal municipalities are so. No, no. In my parent high court, I have been a party to three such orders. One concerning the administration in uh, uh, the union territory of uh, Pondicherry. Nothing happened. Went to Supreme no. Court. All sorts of. Mystery. My Lord, kindly just My Lord, kindly see this judgment. At the present, we will direct the representation to be considered. My Lord, I'll only trouble you lots with one judgment, My Lord. Article two forty three U, my lord, which mandates holding of elections, my lord, holding of elections, my lord, before the expiry of the last municipal board, my lord. The question arose as to whether the provisions of two forty three U is mandatory in nature or not, my lord. That but is correct, only, sir. Constitutional provisions are there. We are aware of this, it. my lord. This bench decides, my lord, whether the that question has been answered, my lord. No, no. The uh, cooperative society elections are it to be over. What is that bank? That we are monitoring. Almost uh, as many as forty writ petitions have been filed at every stage to block the proceedings. Yes. The student union yes. council, yes. students union, yes. that has not been uh, conducted for several years. There are batch of petitions pending. Then every council, pharmacy council, that council, every uh, matter elections, every election is under litigation. So, yeah, Malod, I will only trouble you lots with uh, two paragraphs, Malod. Please, is free, Malod. Is free. The first paragraph, Malod. Is free, Malod. The question that arises for consideration is whether Article Two Forty Three U of the Constitution, by which the duration of the municipality is fixed, is mandatory in nature, and any violation could be justified in the circumstances stated by the respondents. Article Two Forty Three has been reproduced here, Malod, which says, Malod, under Clause three, my lord, an election to constitute a municipality shall be completed before the expiry of its duration specified in clause, and before the expiration of a period of six months from the date of dissolution, my lord. But this has been answered, my lord. I'll, I'll take your lordship to the relevant clause, my lord, relevant part of the order, judgment, my lord. Hello, can you come to page eight, my lord? The penultimate paragraph, my lord, page eight. Yes. In our opinion, the entire provision in the constitution was inserted to see that there should not be any delay in the constitution of the new municipality every five years, and in order to avoid the mischief of delaying the process of election and allowing the nominated bodies to continue, the provisions have been suitably added to the constitution. In this direction, it is necessary for all the state governments to recognize the significance of the state election commission, which is a constitutional body. And it shall be abided by the directions of the commission. Commission, in the same manner 
in which it follows the direction of the Election Commission of India during the elections for the parliament and state legislatures. In fact, in the domain of elections to the panchayat and the municipal bodies under the part 9 and 9A, for the conduct of the elections to these bodies, they enjoy the same status as the Election Commission of India. This is Malod, this has been answered in the affirmative, Malod. Now I'm leaving it to a lordship, Malod. The elections are not being held you for more than two and a half years, Malod. This writ petition, styled as a public interest writ petition, uh, public interest litigation, flags a very important issue, namely non-conduct of election to the municipalities in the state of West Bengal. The petitioner this is, is relating to three municipalities of in, North Bengal. Three municipalities in the North state Bengal. of West Bengal. North Bengal. The petitioner is a resident of Corsium. And the last election for the municipalities in Corsion and Kalimpong. Corsion, Kalimpong and Mirik Malad. And the notified area of Mirik were held in May 14, 2017. The, the period of five years expired in April 2022. Full stop. The petitioner would state that the process for holding elections were initiated in 2022, but were abruptly stopped for the reasons best known to the respondents. In this regard, copies of memos dated 13-3-2022, 28-4-2022 and 16-4-2022 were referred to by the learned advocate for the petition. The grievance expressed by the petitioner is fully justified and there can be no quarrel to the legal position that elections have to be conducted as per the constitutional mandate. The answering respondent will be the state who is not represented today. The West Bengal State Election Commission has been represented uh, by the Leonard Senior Advocate. At this juncture, it will be beneficial to refer to the decision of the Honorable Supreme Court in Kishan Singh Tomar versus Municipal Corporation of Ahmedabad. Of Ahmedabad. Case Appeal Civil Number 5756 of 2005, dated 1910 2006. Stop coming to circuit. stopping. The said appeal before the Honorable Supreme Court was directed against the judgment of the division bench of the High Court of Gujarat. The appellant therein filed a writ of mandamus to direct the respondents in the writ petition, namely the Municipal Corporation of the City of Ahmedabad and the Gujarat State Election Commission to take necessary and take all, necess all steps necessary for the purpose of holding elections for constituting the Municipal Corporation of the City of Ahmedabad Mandated before the expiry of the duration of the Municipal Corporation constituted pursuant to the elections held in October 2000. The Honorable Supreme Court, while dealing with the said appeal, took note of Article 243, Capital U of the Constitution of India, which deals with duration of municipalities, etc. Sub-Article 3 of Article 243, capital U, has two subclasses A and B. It states that an election to constitute a municipality shall be completed uh, A, before the expiry of its duration specified in Clause 1 of Article uh, 243U, which is five years, semicolon, and B, before the expire, expiration of the period of six months from the date of dissolution. After referring to the other constitutional provisions, the Honorable Supreme Court Which page you refer? 
held as follows. Ah, that is in page eight, sir. Okay. Held as follows. The Honorable Supreme Court has pointed out that it is necessary for all the state governments, which includes the state of West Bengal, to recognize the significance of the State Election Commission, which is a constitutional body, and it shall abide by the directions of the Commission in the same manner which it follows the directions of the Election Commission of India during the elections for the Parliament and State Legislature. Further, it was pointed out that, that the entire provisions of the constitution was inserted to see that there should not be any delay in constitution of the new municipality every five years and in order to avoid the mischief of delaying the process of election and allowing the nominated bodies to continue, the provisions have been suitably added to the constitution. Despite the decision, despite the constitutional mandate and the, and the observations of the Honorable Supreme Court um, in the aforementioned decision, we find that the state of West Bengal has not taken any action to hold elections and form new bo board of councillors for Korsiong and Kalimpong municipalities and Mirth notified area. In this yeah. regard, the petitioner has submitted a representation. No, Though the representation is a brief representation, uh, come on, uh, it contains the necessary uh, uh, inputs for the authorities to act. Therefore, at this juncture, instead of giving issuing any positive direction, we direct the first respondent, namely the uh, principal secretary, come on, Department of Urban Development and Municipal Affairs, State of West Bengal. To take into consider to consider the representation dated June 28, 2024, submitted by the petitioner through speed post, received by the authorities uh, on 1-7-2024, and take a proper and legal decision, bearing in mind the constitutional provisions, uh, co constitutional mandate and the decision of the Honorable Supreme Court referred above. Um, we hope and trust appropriate decision will be taken by the state of West Bengal in this regard as holding, as the Honorable Supreme Court has pointed out, the importance of holding elections uh, um, uh, before the expiry of the term of office of the elected body. And in this case, the term of office of the elected body expired in the April 2022, and it is high time the state uh, no, notifies the election to be conducted. The above direction shall be complied with by the first respondent within six weeks from the date on which uh, they Malod, have received. Uh, Malod, if I may trouble Lordship Malot, Section 12 of the West Bengal Municipal Act also mandates this similar provision, my lord, that it should be held within six months before the expiry of um, the earlier term. The, the authority, while considering the uh, representation, should also take note of the mandate under Section 12 of the West Bengal uh, Municipalities West Bengal Municipal Act 1983, my lord. 1983. 1983. Next. Thank Thank you, Martin. Why do 90% of Darjeeling visitors rave about Glenaries? Let's find out. Welcome to Glenaries in Darjeeling. Since the British Raj, this iconic bakery has been delighting generations with its exquisite confections. Imagine biting into a pastry that whispers tales of colonial elegance. From their famous pastries to artisanal breads, every bite is a taste of Darjeeling's rich heritage. Step inside and you're greeted with unmatched hospitality and timeless recipes. It's more than just food. It's a delightful experience wrapped in history. So, whether you're a travel enthusiast or a history buff, Glenary's is a must visit. Glenary's, where every moment is a taste of history. Visit us today and savor Darjeeling's oldest confectioners. Glenary's, taste the legacy. Can you believe this? Kya vishwas karenge? Dawaiyo me 22 percent tak ki chhu. Ji ha, Siliguri Pharmacy har medicine me 22 percent chhut de raha hai. Saathi pura Siliguri me free home delivery. Siliguri ke bahar ke bal 50 rupee courier charges. 
ऑर्डर करने के लिए फोन करें अब मेडिसिन के खर्चे में बचत ही बचत मंडे टू संडे सुबह सात बजे से रात बारह बजे तक दुकान खुली है और यहाँ 99.9 परसेंट मेडिसिन आपको मिलेगी सिलीगुड़ी फार्मेसी में पॉलीक्लिनिक भी है जहाँ आपको सिलीगुड़ी के बेहतरीन डॉक्टर से संपर्क कर सकते हैं सिलीगुड़ी फार्मेसी नेताजी मोड़ सुभाष पल्ली कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर नाइन Dreaming of visiting Mirik? Luxury meets serenity, a perfect blend in Mirik's Mount Queen. Joy has no end. Just a one and a half hour drive from Siliguri, the perfect destination for relaxation or corporate events. Experience breathtaking views of Mirik Lake and the pine tree landscape from the hotel, featuring exquisite banquets and spacious luxury rooms. Mount Queen Hill Resort and Spa, your new destination for a luxurious retreat in Mirik. Call to book. एट जीरो जीरो वन थ्री थ्री सेवन ट्रिपल जीरो क्या आपको सुनने में थोड़ी तकलीफ हो रही है हम जानते हैं कि सुनना कितना जरूरी है तो चलिए श्रवनी हियरिंग एड में आपका स्वागत है जहां हम सुनने की ताकत वापस लाएंगे हमारी मॉडर्न लैब में हम आपके कानों की जांच करेंगे और सही सही सलाह देंगे और अच्छी बात यह है की अब श्रवनी हियरिंग एड सिलीगुड़ी में भी खुल गया है तो आइए सही हियरिंग मशीन लगाइए वो भी पूरी जाँच परख के बाद श्रवनी हियरिंग एड सुनने की नई उम्मीद हमारा पता द्वारिका रुक्मणि प्लाजा पहली मंजिल बाघा जतीन रोड सिलीगुड़ी म्यूनिसिपल कारपोरेशन के सामने फोन करें नाइन